It was certainly a rough day for energy stocks today. But despite the fact that we make videos every day, we are not necessarily day-to-day -day investors. We, at least I, primarily focus on the medium and long term. So let's not look at the day. We will we'll talk about what happened today and what caused today to happen. Let's look at the week. For the first week in several weeks, energy had a positive week. That's a good sign. Feels good. Today doesn't feel good. What happened today? We had bond yields uh, fall. Um, we had an incredibly large miss in consumer sentiment. We were expecting a number of 82.1. We got about 70 and change, or maybe just 70. That's a very big miss. That, my assumption is, has to do with the Delta variant. People have been seeing cases rise and have gotten nervous because cases have rised pretty dramatically and in some states hit new all-time highs in terms of COVID cases. But that sentiment hasn't had that same level of profound effect in the real economy. It's just sentiment. It's just mental feeling. There have been no lockdowns. The stock market saw that number, took it in stride for the most part. Flat market, down energy market. The bond market was a little more concerned, took it down. Maybe it's something we got to consider. But what happens if cases come down? That happened when cases went up. So if cases reverse and the economy stays on track, should we, in the long term, be okay? My assumption is yes. The COVID cases are rolling over in the United States. Preliminarily, we got to give it a little time to play out. But the data is indicating that that is the case. And COVID cases should fall. And then the same effect on consumer sentiment should occur. And maybe if it has the similar effect like in the stock market, maybe consumer sentiment will come back even stronger than it was before because we have, like a muscle, torn the situation, damaged the situation, recovered like a muscle, but recovered stronger. We'll see. That is my thinking of what will happen. We'll have to see if it happens. I'm hoping it does, but hope is not a strategy. We have to be tactical. But I do think that that is the underlying psychology of what will occur. Um, people will feel good, like they've felt good since getting their vaccine. So we will see what happens. Um, what happened this week in energy? Well, we had some not so good news and we had some very important developments occur that should pinpoint the future of the energy market. Let's start with the not so good news because we really got to keep a close eye on this and that's COVID in China. China's having some COVID cases. They closed a massive port. That is big news. That was the kind of stuff that was scaring me back in January of 2020 when they were getting involved with the shipping, closing down the shipping, you know, going into that possible economic pain that's not you don't do that for nothing so they were doing that there's probably a good reason for it and it's something we got to take a look at and be cautious of despite that the white house the, despite that with regards to energy the white house called on opec to increase their oil production because it simply is not enough is what they say. It is not enough for the global economic recovery. We need more oil. Well, U.S. production isn't picking up nearly enough for what they need. OPEC is not going to listen to the White House on that. They just had a hard-fought, multi-week, back and forth, it's happening, it's not happening, deal situation that caused tremendous volatility in the oil market, they're not gonna jeopardize the strength of the price of energy. They're not. We would have seen something by now, I believe. You never know, markets are uncertain, the future is uncertain, but I believe they are not going to 
provide an answer to the White House's request. I find it highly unlikely. It's possible, but I find it unlikely, especially with China. I think if they're doing anything, they are going to undershoot their production numbers, as they said when they agreed to that deal. They said, there's a good chance we don't get to that 400,000 barrels a day increase. Depends on the situation. Well, there's some current concerns about the situation. Probably not going to meet it. White House is freaking out. They care about optics. They're not going to pump more, more oil. So we're going to have to see what happens here. Um, we're keeping our, our eye on things. But I think the White House statement should tell you everything you need to know about the long term. Yes, in the short term, other things will happen. This has been an incredibly volatile period for the energy sector. We've made it very far. We're okay as of now. Nothing crazy has happened in the last couple of weeks. It's just been a lot of chop. My expectation is the White House's concern is legitimate. We let this chop occur and boop, something like that begins to happen on the other side. There's a lot of weak hands that have definitely been shaken out because of this period. A lot of people have been afraid and who knows? Maybe there will be a fear of missing out move. We will see. So until next time, until next week, week to week, week to week, not day to day, week to week. Until then, next week, peace out.